Hi guys. So today, what I'm going to discuss um, is supposed to be the topic that we should have discussed during our asynchronous. But since um, we gave um, priority, or rather, we gave uh, we give way for the academic break because of the um, large amount of um, incidents or patients who had the Omicron this couple of this last three weeks. Um, I'm sending you right now a audio lecture for us to be able to catch up uh, for the rest of the sem. Uh, hopefully we're not that, that that late, but still, since uh, so that we could gather as much information as we can before we wrap the sem up. Um, I'm doing this for for that very reason. <clears throat> the first, um, I sent you a, a couple of questions, which is a prelude to the topics that we're this we're going to discuss today so briefly i'm gonna give you a rundown so it will be much easier to understand and this could this copy of the audio lecture will serve as your reviewer for our upcoming finals before the sem ends um, without further ado the uh, topic um, the topic that i'm going to discuss is as follows so Number one, a question I ask you is, um, have you ever asked someone uh, out or some, if you ever ask someone that you like or have you ever told him or her that you like her is a, is a challenging question because uh, for once, uh, one reason is that Philippines is one of the is a conservative country and there's a lot of traditions and um, protocols that we do wherein we give a lot of respect to the other persons that we meet from day to day basis. That's why sometimes it's hard for us to introduce ourselves to others, not like in other countries where Introducing oneself is quite easy. In our country, um, it is very common for people to be, um, what do you call this, um, reserved. Not like the in other countries uh, where people are very... What I mean is that in other countries, it's much easier for you to be able to introduce yourself and meet other people. So the reason I gave this is this topic. Um, the answer, if you, the answer in this question that you've given answers the importance of what communication is. Because in communication, it does just doesn't just as, as it's important in we have this not only in our families but in our significant relationships like our friends and peers this is very important also when it regards to the um, occupation and jobs that we're going to have in the near future um, problems and disagreements are both easily um, skipped or also faced if we are if we have a good um, communication skills but on the other hand problems escalate when lack of good communication occurs in a community so also does in a in a job atmosphere atmosphere so the number two is in the number two and three when I ask if yes, then how did you do it? This is a comparison as well 
with regards to the key components of what communication is. The components are four. Number one is encoding. Number two is medium of transmission. Number three is decoding. While number four is feedback. When we say encoding, encoding is what are the inf informations that we give or what that we um, impart. Well, the, the medium of transmission is how we, it is the method or the way wherein we give that away or we pass it to another. It may be through letter, to phone, to computer, or any other kind of transmission wherein we can communicate. Well, decoding, decoding is the way where the other person who receives the information understands the information we gave. And the feedback, lastly, is the understanding, is the response rather, of the understanding that he or she has uh, achieved. So thus, a response from him or her um, is given back to us that further, um, that further, Um, exalt the level of uh, understanding he or she has achieved of the information that we've given. If she or he has achieved it or understood it very well, the level of response that will be given to us is also an overwhelming um, uh, overwhelmingly high. But then again, some of the um, misunderstandings and questions will be derived to the level also understanding that she has or she and he has um, achieved also. So the level of encoding plus the mode of transmission or medium of transmission should be really clear so that, she, so that the person you're giving this information may be, be able to decode it very properly and give the utmost or right feedback. Now, the now question number four pertains to the question we're in. Um, I ask you, if not, why? So the questions you had with this one, if you answer this part of the questions, pertains to the common barriers of effective communication. If you weren't able to have the guts or have the confidence to ask a person out, if you weren't uh, skilled enough in communication, if you're, you were nervous, this is just one example that is also that can be seen also with the barriers of communication, which is also shown or seen in any, any kinds of relationship, whether in families, work, or any other thing. Or any other kind of relationships. So the barriers are as follows. Oh, by the way, besides from the, I almost forgot. Sorry. Before we, uh, before we move on again to number four. Since I told you the communication process, I've given you the components. Uh, I already gave you the components, but I left out a uh, two important uh things also and this is uh, these are the called the factors in the process of communication the two factors is the sender and the receiver so the sender is the one encoding and using the medium of transmission while the receiver is the decoder or decoding the information and sending back the feedback so so please don't forget that it's very important so <clears throat> The components are encoding, medium of transmission, decoding, and feedback, while the two factors in the process of communication is sender and receiver. Now let's go back to the common barriers. The common barriers of effective communication are as follows. Dissatisfaction, disinterest, inability to listen, lack of transparency and trust, communication styles or the difference in communication styles conflicts, and cultural and language difference. So I will not further explain those. It's very self-explanatory. 
if you can see all of this and if you have experienced all of the things that I've said, these are the reasons why we stop to communicate to other people. And number five is when I ask you what is your style or what is your strategy in asking or communicating with someone you don't know, it's just like, for example, if you're trying to introduce yourself to another person for the first time, or if you if you are um, trying to ask a question to someone you don't know, what are the what are the ways you are in you do it, the style or the process that you did when you answered this? That's what called strategy. Now, the strategies are the ways or in you can be able to ease yourself out in communicating with another person. <clears throat> You're making it comfortable for you and the other person to communicate. Some of the strategies, common strategies, are for verbal communication are as follows. Focus on the issue, not the person. Be genuine. Ibig sabihin, um, totoo, honest and not manipulative don't uh, don't use any other uh, ways to elicit the answer that you want by manipulating the person just be uh, true or be genuine or be um, clear but and honest empathize rather than detach meaning is try to be in the shoes of that person that you're communicating to be flexible towards others. Value yourself and your own experiences. And last, use affirming responses. <clears throat> These guys are the things that you need to learn. These are very basic, but this is very important in dealing with other persons, especially in a workplace. I can't emphasize enough how much, uh, in, how important the how important communication is with regards to your work so if you are able to master this um, you master one of the best things that you have to have that you need to have in your toolbox for you to be able to for you to be successful in your work so again number one it is important that you have a communication skill with regards to your work number two the process is made up of components, which is encoding, medium of transmission, decoding, and feedback. And the process of communication and is under is um uh, is being undergone uh, is under what do you call this is being processed rather in between the sender and the receiver. While the common barriers are the things that stops us from communicating with the other person. We should not happen. That's why we have the strategies to be able to be effective verbal communicators, which was given a while ago. That will help us to be better uh, communicators. And also, if we are better communicators, we become better uh, workers, um, entrepreneurs, or better employees and all in all we become better um, contributors to the society that we live in with that thank you very much and hope to see you all soon next week study this uh, study this audio lecture this will be a part of your finals also sir so make use of this as your reviewer Thank you guys and good day.